hello. Uh, back to Mitchum Common again. Yesterday I did Horham, a place in Sussex, it's a, a fishery, um, and I enjoyed doing the sunset. So I, I, from the, you've seen the photograph. I like the tree on the left, and I'm going to to turn this one, which was taken about twelve o'clock in December, or no January, January. Uh, and we'll see how we how we go. There's a nice bank on the left as well. It won't go in exactly, and there's a there's a hill at the back. But that hill is not original to the common. It, it's a landfill, and they've they've got rid of millions of tons of rub rubbish underneath it, landscaped it, but I don't think it improves it, anything. It was lovely when it was flat and you could see the, the distant trees on the horizon. It was lovely, you can't do that now, although probably the houses behind there. So here we go, wet the paper all over. I'd love to be able to do this in 15 minutes, but I don't think I'll be able to. Right, so by washing the paper, it expands uniformly. So I'm using uh, the usual palette of lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, and Payne's grey. I'm using the two inch hake, um, the rigger probably. Can you see? Ah, oh, there we are. Hake and the rigger. And there's, that's about it really. I've got other brushes and credit cards for etching into the wet, darker paint. So I'll, uh, I'll mix up some uh, some nice uh, lemon yellow and, and light red for my sunset. So here we go. Put it, put it in. It nice and red, going across and into the water where the water's going to go. Lovely. Just a little blush at the top, just show it catching clouds. Right, now I'm going to go in with, with some cloudy things and I'll use uh, Ultramarine and light red. There we are. So keeping the paint f uh, fairly dry. So just drag that across. With the clips in the corners, it stops your paintbrush from going all the way, but never mind. And we can get some darker reflections in the water there. Right, okay. Put a bit of, bit of red up there. Underneath the clouds. Right, okay. Uh, now for the background. I've put a bit of a line across here to show the horizon. I'm using the same the sky colours, but but I'm going to add a bit of alizarin to the mix. <coughs> so these are my background trees coming all the way across in the distance. Not too much there because that's going to be covered up by, by more shrub, shrubs. See, these, these are blue-grey, so that's how I want to treat them because they are in the distance. And remember, blues recede. Now, there is some warm in these trees from autumn last year. Now, make sure my horizon is on my water's edge. Right, okay that. Okay. 
leaving bits of unpainted paper here and there. All right, that'll do. But as it dries, I can put in some light, some 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 foreground or middle distance trees in front of that. <coughs> so over that, I'll I'll just put in some sienna and and a bit of uh, bit of uh, uh, raw sienna just to warm some of this up the, the, the warm autumn warms there are you you have to hunt for the warmer areas when it's cold and wintry and this could be uh, the sun set shining through why not uh, right okay now while that's there we can just flick in some Oh, you can see what's happened to the paper, it's, it's grown quite a bit, so we'll just re-clip it. Oh, there we go. So just, just lift out one or two bare trees. Don't overdo it. Oh, that'll do. Now, that's a bit dry now, let's uh, put in, I'll use some Payne's Grey, in, I've been fighting Payne's Grey for a little while, but let's just put in, uh, this, this is the bank, a bit of burnt um, but a bit, a bit of lots of bits of colour really. Water kind of refreshing goes behind this uh, nice greeny, greeny bank here. When the brush splits, just dip the tip into the water, and it'll come back together again. Just, just work it. Um, we just. Uh, I'm just adding a bit of texture on this. This is some grass, and, but there's sort of like sand, sandy bits on this too because this would be at a high water mark if, if, the, if there's been a lot of rain, the, the ponds will fill up. It's it's a it's an area near me. It's got has has a large lake with well large very large pond. We call it a lake, but which has these islands. And all my one of my friends as a, as a lad used to come over here, fishing, causing mischief, doing what boys do. Now some some greedy stuff in here. So I get some dark in the base of it. Right, okay. I'll uh, just flick, flick up some stuff. I'll put a tree in there. And I never really discovered it until I went out on my bike. A couple of months ago, when I started doing all these videos, I thought I'd better start looking for some local spots. And I do travel the River Great, the River Wandle. It runs from East Croydon to the Thames. I do it, we do it on our bikes, and it's a lovely uh, thing to do. I take photographs and put them on the computer and use them as my reference material. Totally original. I can't see see much. There's, 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 there's an island in front here. Perhaps I should put that in. Uh, I will. So I'll, I'll just indicate the bank with some ultramarine and, and burnt umber. 
but it's quite warm. Oh, I'm losing a couple of hairs here. Eh? I've lost most of the ones on my head. Right, okay, so we've got, got this island coming across here. So I used a bit of a warmer mix across there. Right, there we go, it goes all the way across to about there, leaving a bit of light on the top. So I can put the shadows in there. Now that's all right. Now there's a, the bank goes over here, and the other bank is across here. Right, okay, let's just put it in here. Right, there we go. That's it for that. Okay, so let's uh, put in some some trees now. There's a, some nicer bare trees, so just a mostly on the bluey, umbery side. Fairly dry brush. Don't want them to stand out too much. Now the larger ones would be coming up from this, from here. But they won't go up too high because they're fair distance. They're, they're not big trees anyway. Just indicate them. Lost and found, hit, hit and miss. Do my usual thing with the edge of the hake and put in a canopy of twigs and branches. And I'll put a bit of bigger work on here. Right, oh, that's there. That's one more just there. Now, with almost uh, blue. Put some on the, the other bank. Ooh, well, uh, yeah, no. Coming out there. And some are coming up here, some bigger ones. But don't want everything the same size, it look monotonous and, and stilted. There are also some some green trees, green shrubs. We can always just just put them in. Sticking up, there might be pines. Try not to disturb the paint underneath. So I'm just. Just adding some interest, so um, same same there, but I'll use quite heavy raw sienna in there just to warm that up. Almost neat. No, it's not covering really. Just etch out some some bits here. Now to put the canopies on. I'm just using the corner of the brush. That bit there. Just that bit. And just gently just it needs to be a bit heavier than I've done it there. All right. Well, 
Oh, this falls are heavy. What I have to do now. I wanted to do that, that one blew, blew up. So that it lays, lays back in the landscape. I don't think that's come off, I've missed it. No mind. It was in dark, huh? Doesn't look too bad on the, uh, on the screen. Right, now I'm going to put the big tree in across on the left. I haven't forgotten the the reflections. Right, there's more is coming up from, from there. There's lots of tangled of twigs and branches and shrub undergrowth. It's a very I don't know what tree it is. Just a tree. It goes right up into the sky, this one. Fairly dry brush, and just touch it with the knife edge. Oh. And then there's some more coming, coming up here, from here. Right, we got a fair bit of water. The rigors don't hold lots of water, so you have to give them a good soaking, really. Otherwise, they soon run out. And I have a little reservoir. I've got a little reservoir here. So I can get to it quite simply, quickly. And I'll put the canopy in there. There aren't any leaves on these trees but it's a good it's a good idea to put a couple or well, more than a couple. They add, add an interest to the, the whole thing. sort of a depth anchor the the tree and then a bit of shadow in there I suppose right okay so far so good I'll put a few more twiggies That dry. <laughs> right, with the dry brush again, let's see if we can make a better job of it this time. Just uh, Please just stroke it in. Right, that's 
do it. Now clean the brush, nice clean water. Don't overdo it again, you have to keep saying this just in case you do. You don't want to disturb that paint, see like I just have. Just want to drop in the reflections now of similar colours. I'll give you a bit of, bit of red in there. Now the trees. With the uh, bigger. If you don't use thick enough paint, it, you lose it in the wet underneath. Oh, I'll just smash that a little bit. Right. Uh, give that a draw, I think. I don't think that I can probably put a bit of bit of uh, harder detail in there just just to just show some, some pebbles. So looking at the the screen is looking quite good. It's lovely and soft. So now we'll just uh, sign it. I'll edit it. I'll put the photograph in, and I will show it to you in a mount before I do do all that. So I'll put a signature here. Bit too dark. I'm, I'm going to start having to leave little bits of light colours in here, so I can do some figures on the, on the distant bank. It won't show up here; it'd be too too murky. But as a landscape, we'll let that go. Right, just, just stay there. Don't go away. I'll put this on a in a mount, and we can see what it looks like. A mount adds. At least 50% of the look of the painting, so I'll just bring it in and see them out. Oh, there we go. So that's what it would look like in a frame. So if I bring it close, you can see just how, how I've done the brushwork and the reflections. All very simple. 
but be prepared to waste some paper. But don't throw it away. You've seen the acrylic demonstrations. If, if you're used to painting in another medium, like oil or acrylic, the watercolour paper is a lovely surface to work on. Really superb. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.